Hello, this is Yannis from One Repair. Today we will go through a motherboard, desktop motherboard repair that uh, came to us uh, with broken pins. We will try to have a different approach uh, this time for uh, a desktop board for the CPU socket. We will try to plant uh, some uh, pins, some whole pins from a different donor socket to the current socket. Let's go and see this approach. This is the board, we are going very fast, we have already removed the CPU, we will uh, lift the bracket and check for uh, damage on the pins, some of them are bent, are bent uh, very very hard, you will see in a minute uh, that uh, they are uh, bend in the opposite way like uh, 180 degrees than it should be like this we will try with our tweezers and uh, very very carefully to straight the, the, the pin that is bent But it will not be an easy one. Usually these uh, bended uh, pins are destined to broke. And it will. We are trying to make it vertical and then uh, To gently lift it and bend it in the way that uh, it should be bent. We're trying very hard. We're trying to support the base and to lift the other edge. But eventually it would break. Let's try again. Ah, this is the breakpoint. As you can see, no tolerance from the pin, so it broke. And now we must find a way to repair this socket some of us are thinning the missing pin and resolder we will try as we said a different approach we will try a, a pin planting method that could work because the pins are hold it in place on the socket and in the other end with the thin a solder on the board there is another one pin that is bent we try to make it right but This is very hard, and we have already seen that the edge is broke, so again we have missed the pin. Now we will try to desolder the pin. We will use some flux and uh, hot air and we will gently pull the broken pin from the socket
gently because if we read the pad it will be lethal for the board and uh, it will be much much difficult to be repaired okay one more try more hot air and uh, more air density and carriage and it's off you can see we have pulled the pin successfully and not ripped any pad we will straighten this pin that it was moved or it was bented And now we will try to plant a fresh new pin from a donor socket. A socket that uh, we have already replaced to another board. We will find the whole pin. We will remove it and plant it on the current socket this is the pin here this is a whole one we have thinned the edge that uh, will uh, make contact on the board we will add some flux and then try to put it back in place Here's the tin. It's not an easy one. You must have a very steady hands to do this job. I'm trying to do it with my finger, but it's not very wise. So I'm grabbing a tweezer. Yeah. Coffee is not allowed. You must have steady hands. A lot of coffee is not compatible with steady hands. We're trying to fold it back in place. We're gently pushing the pin in its place in its new place and uh, we are trying not to harm the other pins and not to harm the socket the plastic socket Put it back in place and use hot air to solder the pin to the place that it should be. We're going uh, in a triple speed because it's not an easy one. Not, uh, not this one at all. but it uh, can save you if you're not having a socket or a station that can remove the socket or your board to do a, a socket removal and resolder we're using hot air gun to solder the pin back We're gently pushing with our tweezer the pin to 
shoulder in place. Now we must uh, do the same thing for the other pin. The second uh, pin is much easier because uh, it is uh, the second one we are doing. And we have uh, the experience, more experience to do it. This is the way that we are moving the pin from the donor socket. We are pushing gently with our heat, heat uh, pen. We are removing the pin, so we must uh, have it whole in order to place it back and fold it back to the socket. We will use some flux. Again. And be extra careful. We will use the hot air gun to apply the flux underneath the pin. And now we will try with our two tweezer to fold and plant the pin in place. We are doing likewise. Extra careful to tweezer. And now hit gun to solder the pin back on the board. I think it's ready. I think it's good. And now we are testing this board. We are using all the RAM sticks that uh, our client gave to us and will use in order to check uh, if uh, this pin that uh, bent or missing or didn't solder correctly affects the communication between the CPU and the RAM chip and the RAM chips we have a white light and uh, we will have a splash screen and the memory is whole so we have a repair that was the repair you saw if you like this video consider like subscribe and share Thanks for watching, see you in another pair.